Hi there, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to share a project using which you can make open AI API calls for their model 3.5 turbo for free. And let me show you how you can do that. But before we get in, you may already know about this company called open AI and they provide a bunch of APIs. If I go back, this is what the API reference looks like. And one of the API endpoints that we are targeting here is a chat endpoint. So in order to make this API call with open AI, you need to first authenticate yourself, which means you need to get the API keys. Now getting the API key, you need to sign up and then you have to subscribe for a plan and their pricing is on their pricing page. If I go down and look at 3.5 turbo, the model actually takes 50 cents for a million tokens or input and $1.50 for 1 million tokens for the output. So, which means that in order to leverage the open AI API, even if you're testing, you need to sign up, subscribe, and then you can make the API calls. But let's say you're not ready and you really want to see what the quality of output is and you want to test the models. How can you do that? So very recently, I came across this GitHub project by Pavan Osman. It's called ChatGPT. It says it's a free reverse proxy for OpenAI API. If I go a bit down, it specifically says that it's for the 3.5 Turbo that we saw here, 3.5 Turbo. And then it says it's, it's the proxy for free. And it has multiple ways how you can use it, but I always prefer if the Docker setup is there, I always go with the Docker setup. So I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing on your computer. My assumption is that you have Docker already installed. If not, you can go to docker.com and then you can click on products, Docker desktop. And then since I'm on Mac, it shows me what all, what distribution I should use. If you are using Windows or Linux, they have their distribution. So assuming that you have it up and running and I will make sure that I have it up and running. So I am in VS code and I'm on the terminal. So I will say Docker minus version. That's the command. It's, I think it's Docker minus V version. So Docker is already running on my machine. I will make this a little bit bigger so that you can see things through. So Docker is already running. So what I will do now is I will try to use this repository. So using Docker. So this is the command that we need to run. Now, one tweak that I will do to this command is I always tend to give name to my Docker container so that it's easy for me to follow along. Or if I need to change anything, I can do that. So name will be turbo. 3.5, let's say, and this hash code means the container has started and it's running. And the way I can test it out is I can say Docker PS and filter with name equals turbo. And this container shows up. If I take a bit down, say the container is running. Now, one thing you can also do is you can see the logs. So I can say Docker logs minus minus follow turbo 3.5 and immediately the log says it's running, the server is running at localhost 3040. So if I want to use it locally, I can make use of this API. But if I am in some other machine, let's say I have machine in AWS or GCP. And if I want to make use of this endpoint, then I can use any of the other two endpoints. Now I'll keep it up and running. And then um, in order to test it out, I will, I have a file already. And this code is not something that I wrote. We can make use of it, but the idea is they've given the examples of how you can use that. So I've taken the Python example. They say, how do I list all the files in a directory in Python? And I have made a chain and said TypeScript here. That's the only change, but the key Part is we are leveraging open AI library. So this code depends upon official open AI SDK. 
But the API key is anything. I can change it to a fake API and nothing will change. And I'm, I, the API calls we are making is through the localhost 3040, which is right here where our proxy is running. If you were to hit the actual API call, you would go to API reference here and go to chat. This will be the API call that you will make. But since we are using the free proxy, the endpoint is right here. The next step I need to do is I need to run that. So for that, I will take this screen a little bit bigger, open up a new terminal, and I will make sure that a file is already there. And I need to activate the activate my Python environment so that it already has open AI dependency. And then I will say Python this. And while it is trying to do something, we can see in the logs what's going on. So it received a request, which is for the endpoint chat completions. If I take you back to the official documentation from OpenAI, it goes to V1 chat completions. This is also going to V1 chat completions. So it's completely transparent. So if you were to directly hit now to open AI platform after you've done this prototyping, you will need to make the change to the base URL and API key and everything will work. Now let's see if we have gotten any response back. So this is the response that we have gotten from chat GPT 3.5, not chat GPT, Turbo 3.5 model from open AI. And this is great because if you really want to prototype something quickly and you do not want to get into the hassle of giving up your credit card information, setting things up, creating a payment plan, all those things, you can always come back to it. And whenever you're ready to migrate your workload or app to production, all you need to do is to now you're ready to sign up. You can sign up with OpenAI, change these two things, and you're off the hook. So I hope that this was useful. If there are any questions, concerns, new things that you would like to see, please put down in the comment below. Um, if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe to the channel if you find the content useful. And we'll keep on creating more videos, making AI tools easier to adopt, and at the same time, using AI to develop applications for developers. So stay tuned, and I will see you soon.